Tell them sports talk worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now heavyweight, you know, or blown up cruiserweight, whatever you want to call him, but a bad boy from England, Tony Bellew, the guy who beat David Hay. You know, albeit David Hayes' Achilles gave out, but he beat David Hay. You got David Hay on your ledger, you doing good, especially if you came from the Cruiserweight division to do it. Well, the fight with David Hay has been rescheduled for May, sometime in May. I think it's May the 5th, but it's been uh, both of these fighters, <laughs> especially Tony Bay, trying to wait until May the 5th with David Hay. That's probably bad business. David Hay's body is just breaking up on him. You wish him the best, you wish him well, but you really think David Hay, May the 5th, it's a lot of training camps, a lot of stuff that happen till May, you know, when it comes to David Hay. And I ain't trying to rhyme there, just the way it is. But we're hoping we can get that fight. But Tony Bay, you always say something, you know, you got to just listen to the man, you know, he's well grounded, you know. And he says something, he just say, well, his plan for 2018 is to end David Hayes' career and Tyson Fury's career. And, you know, those are things that I know that he thinks he could do. You know, this thing with David Hay is, I've said it in other videos, you know, we know how bad David Hay is. He came in there a little heavy and uh, disrespectful. He didn't have enough respect, thought he was going to get uh, David uh, Tony Bell, you out of there early. Didn't happen. He was in for, for a problem. Right? Tony Bell was looking decent in the six rounds until David Hayes Achilles got ruptured. So I know that Tony Bell knows I took some punches and I was there. I gave a good account of myself regardless of what happened to his Achilles. So he feels he's going to uh, show the world what's up with David Hayes, a healthy David Hayes. Now, of course, David Hayes is going to train differently. He has a newfound respect for this guy. He's admitted it. He seems to be, you know, in the right frame of mind as well. It's going to be a good fight if it happens. Let's hope that it happens. We're a long way away from May, guys. You know, but let's just see if that happens. But the fact that he wants to get Tyson Fury, Tyson Fury as well, you know, after he's even made statements. This is how Tony Bell is. He's honest. He's like, man, I ain't trying to fight none of these giants. You know what I mean? They just That's why it's weight class. These dudes are giants. He'll go get uh, David Hay, of course. We've seen that. He would get uh, go at Joseph Parker. He said he'd take that, but Tyson Fury is one of these big, big old dudes. And I think the only reason he think he got a chance because Tyson Fury is not the biggest puncher in the world. So I think that's what gives Tony Bellew a little bit of of uh, confidence against Tyson Fury because he didn't really want to fight no one uh, six nine, three hundred pounds. But I'm pretty sure his fight weight it could be the first fight back. I think Tyson Fury gonna weigh about two eighty, something like that. You know, in the second fight about two sixty five. If things go well, that's a big dude for Tony Bay to be messing with. Tony Bay ain't going to be about 220, you know, and it's going to be fat, <laughs> you know, but he got a lot of heart. But it's just interesting to see Tony Bay tell you what he's going to do. He's going to end two careers in 2018. Now, let's listen to the man. Don't sports talk worldwide. And I'm about to y'all.